Before I begin, you need to understand that this video is being filmed in the most serious lure maker's pain. I lost my favorite lure. And it was to a big fish, which is the only thing that could make it worse. So this is redemption. Still crisp too. Just happened. Got the fish slime to prove it. Yeah. Now I need revenge. And what the lure was, it wasn't exactly like this, but it's kind of the same idea. This one might look a little nicer, but it doesn't work as good. The other one was a little thinner. But the idea is it sinks really fast and it even has a little shimmy as it sinks. And it's kind of just like, it's, it's supposed to be like a spoon, but made of wood and you just twitch it and it does this and trout love it. I got kind of excited thinking about that old one. Yeah, anyway, I'm still kind of sad about that, but I do think making another one will be good because I have kind of gotten out of making lures and it's not okay. Here is the original outline. This is the same piece of wood as the lure. And because I have that, I can make exact copies from the same piece of wood too. So we're gonna do this. The other reason I'm making this is I've been catching a lot of big fish on that lure. And I know if I make another one, I could catch some on camera, which would be nice because that's usually a good thing. Time to get started. Problem number one, the chickens don't like bandsaws. Problem number two, parents have invaded my lure making territory. I haven't done this in so long. We'll get there. Usually plugging in your tool is a good place to start, but it's plugged in now, let's see. So I just got these cut out. Ooh, wait, that's, no, wait, that, yeah. Got these cut out and pretty much the thinner the better. So I just, there's not really top profile. So I just cut this off camera. You know, you just cut it straight in half. So, yep, two halves. I think I'm, one of them's a little thicker and I think I'm just gonna use that one. All you really need is just enough wood for this. And that is just enough. It might get messy, but you know, you do what you gotta do. Also, Check out this carving I did. Spent some time on this one. Yeah, those fins are the same piece of wood. Just did some fanciness. Yep, just a little creek chub. Still have to paint it, but pretty cool. Focus, focus, focus. No gun, no focus. Anyway, time to start rounding this off with the chisel, which I haven't done in a while. Gotta stop looking at the viewfinder. You are more important. Here I go. Just the right one. Yep. And so for this, the little trick is to just use your finger on the pencil. And these, I really wanna bring them down, especially from the top. So that's a pretty big chamfer. But, that's good. I'm trying to make this almost like a spoon or a blade. Like a natural little bait fish. Like alewife or smelt. Not really, really skinny, just like this. So that's what I'm trying to mimic. Leaving the belly a little thicker actually will help the action and it'll make it easier to drill holes in the bottom. So I'm going to do a good bit of that. Time to start carving. Something I haven't done in a while. I kind of miss saying that. Some nice wood. Ugh, I take it back. Not nice wood. I just feel like I don't really know how to narrate these. Like, it's kind of hard, honestly. Hopefully this is good though. Oh yeah, that's good. You know, that's actually never happened before. Kinda funny. I know it's bad, but I do like to cut the corners off of these just a little bit, just to make sanding a little easier. 
just soften up that edge just a little bit. Nice and softened and time for some sanding. I think I might just spare you the whole sanding process since you kind of know how it goes. You just so uh, yeah, see you once it's sanded. Never mind, this is more important. And there it is nicely sanded. I actually learned a new trick that I think I'll probably use more often now. It's that if you sand it and get it nice and smooth and like the right shape, you can take just a hard kind of smooth thing. I just used this rock and um, just rub it on it and it'll compress all the fibers. And now this has like a really nice sheen. Like I spent a lot of time sanding it, but I actually did not. So kind of a nice little trick. Anyway, I also poked out these little holes and now I'm gonna drill them. I guess that's what it looks like with the uh, hardware. Still have to drill out these holes down here and fill them up with uh, some weight. Time to drill these with a lot of concentration. So you're probably thinking I just ruined it, but really it's all just part of the process. And uh, this is looking just as good as the uh, one I lost, so I'm gonna stick with it, even though that looks pretty bad, but it should all get fixed up. Healed by super glue and baking soda. Okay, I'm gonna start scooping. And it's actually a good idea to pack this stuff in a little bit. I can find my tool. Yeah, like I was saying, it's good to Pack this in as much as you can. Just gonna hope that's enough. That was just to hold it in place a little bit. The strategy here is just layer it up and then uh, fix it later. Don't know why does that keep doing that. Oh wow, I'm recording. And the ugliness continues, but there is enough... Focus. There's enough built up here that I should be able to just file and sand it off to a nice clean thing. It might not look pretty, but once there's paint on it, shouldn't even know it's there. I found a spot that needs fixing. I never like clamping these in. I always feel like I'm hurting it. I'll just sand it out later. Hopefully. Well, I guess I'm sealing this now. The other one that I lost actually had some problems with the sealing. So I'm gonna do a really good job on this one. I think the other one I just used baking soda, I mean, just super glue. And I think it had a water penetration problem because it started to not work as good after a while, but. 
still worked good enough. So hopefully this one will just always work good. Okay, so it's the next day and uh, got a few layers of uh, polyurethane on there. It's nice and shiny, ready for some paints. And I'm making a second one, which I just finished up the paint job on. Well, I'm not holding this correctly. This thing does not like to focus, but this is supposed to be a striped shiner, kind of a cool little fish that I've caught before. And uh, yeah, hopefully this one works good too. Now I have options. I think I'm planning to paint this one just like the uh, one I lost because it was a nice paint job and uh, it looks good. The only problem is I have done that same paint scheme on this channel before, so it's probably gonna be a little probably going to be a little repetitive, but I, I want to paint it like that, so I'm going to... Well, actually, I'm going to do it a little differently, so it'll be a little different. Okay, so to start this paint job, I'm going to use white. And I'm going to put this in these handy-dandy little vice grips. Okay, now I'm gonna do a little bit of a really dark green on the top. Okay, now a little like rusty red color. Now I load it up with pearl silver. Time for scales. And I don't think I'm gonna talk much more. I think I'm just gonna do it and y'all can follow along if you want to. Okay, so this is the exciting part here. There's a lot of color shift and good stuff going on in this. We'll have to see how it looks. Gotta be really careful. Looks pretty good. Got all the colors. Shiny. Looks pretty good. Looks like an alewife, maybe a smelt. Something injured. Yeah, I mean, for one layer of paint, there's quite a bit of depth and detail in that, which is pretty good. It looks all bumpy and lumpy, even though it's smooth. So that's pretty cool.
That's kind of a disaster. That ink does not stick to that. Oof. I am ready for a break. I just mixed up some clear coat, and now it's time to apply. Put a little blue stuff in there. Okay, so walking down to the spot, and um, I guess I kind of rushed the process for that video at the end there. I'll show you the lure once we get down there. Um, looks looks all right, but um, has a few problems. But I don't really care, and I think it should be able to catch a fish. Oh my gosh! Why is my battery so low? I charged it all day yesterday. Anyway, the clear coat's not entirely set up, so a big fish might mess it up a little bit. But I could probably fix it and give it another coat. I just want to... Today's my last day to catch a fish with it. Well, last full day. So yeah, I might not record much of this because my battery's only at 20. Which is not good. I hope I get a bite on camera. But I might just have to turn it on if I have one hooked up. So, be warned. Complete a bait, by the way. Look at all that shimmeriness. Call it shiftiness. That's pretty awesome. I really like how this turned out. Hopefully it works good. Here it is. Let's see the action. Sinks and shimmies. Has somewhat of a thing in action. Let's see on the cast. Cast really far. The best way to do this is to reel as slow as you can, because these are kind of sluggish fish. But uh, give it as many twitches as you can, just keep it moving, but also go kind of slow. Maybe give it a pause. Oh no, you kind of have to learn how to fish with each one of these. Oh, it's working. Oh look, a perch followed it. Perch. Nice yellow perch. That's a good sign. Perch. Got a perch. Wow, look at that. Not what I was expecting to catch, but you know. Uh, these perch in here are kind of crazy, honestly. So this isn't that this isn't even that big of a one. I wish I could talk today. Perch like that lure. Wow. Hope that means there's more than just perch. But it's got some fish slime already. That's, that's really good. Second cast. Fishing here, it's so weird. It's, it's just you could see and feel absolutely nothing, and then all of a sudden you just have a fish. So you just never really know when to expect that. Some more perch. Well, that's part of what makes this so fun. the randomness. Little one. Got the little one. Well, I'm catching fish today, no matter what. Hey y'all, I'm hooked up. Holy cow. 
No, did it just break off? <gasps> that fish just broke me off. No. No. It was the knot. I just retied that. Darn it, that was a really big lake trout. That was a really big lake trout. Oh my gosh. I just made that lure. <sighs> Talk about good conditions. Um, I'm pretty devastated after yesterday. I still have this one. There's some teeth marks from a, a bite I had yesterday that I didn't get on camera. But I've got an upgraded system here. I just can't explain the knots. I just need to retie them every 10 minutes because the stress they get is immense. So these conditions are amazing. So I'm really excited. I hope this lure works with this split ring. I mean, snap on there. If it doesn't, I'll switch it. But I'm really excited. I have a net. I have a little live well if I want to keep some perch. And I have the passion, the passion for a lake trout. Camera's nicely charged today too. Oh, little perch, nice perch, got one. That's a nice perch, first cast. These are the funniest fish. Oh, I got one. No. I just had a bite from a lake trout. There's a chance it didn't feel the hooks and might be back. There's a chance. Oh my gosh. Okay, well I'm hooked up to a very nice lake trout right now. It took me a while to get the camera on. Holy cow. Holy cow. That's a nice one. That's a very nice one. Uh, oh my gosh. Oh yeah. This guy shouldn't come off unless the knot fails, which we're gonna hope doesn't happen. This looks like a wild fish. It doesn't have any other fins. I mean, it has all its fins. Oh my gosh. No, the lure is stuck on the net. There we go. <sighs> well, this fish was not caught on the lure I made in this video, but it is a lake trout and it's caught on a homemade lure. Just caught a lake trout, took its time. That's probably 25 inches. It's kind of long and skinny. That's the lure I caught it on, not the one from the video. But that's a nice fish. Very gorgeous. Well, uh, this has been kind of a painful video with the uh, lost lure and all but i am glad i caught a nice nice lake trout i've been talking about those a lot and it's it's good that i finally caught one on video because y'all might just think i'm crazy but now you know the rumors are true and uh yeah that was pretty pretty nice so uh thanks for watching <laughs>